Hi, everyone. Yeah, thank you for coming. Let's get started. We are right on time. So uh, today, uh, first myself, uh, my name is Ian Ding. I'm from Google. I'm the uh, founder and the maintainer of uh, Kube Edge. Today, we are talking about uh, Kube Edge. So I will give a few updates about the community, security, and uh, scalability test. So this is the, our agenda. We have about 35 minutes. I will try to finish this in 25 to 30 minutes. Then the rest time I can leave for the questions. So today I'm going to talk about the uh, introduction, the briefly introduction of our project and give the community update, uh, the security update and the performance scalability test. Uh, finally, we are talking about a little bit the, the roadmap and the community building. So edge computing, uh, I will try to get a brief uh, at the intro because everybody are hopefully are already expert on this one. So there's a different edge. So we're talking about the near side edge basically is very close to the device or everybody else. Then we have the city edge, the regional edge. Then we reach out to our central cloud so each edge, they have a different usage. I mean, they have a different typical application. So for the near side, we do a lot of AI inference, uh, AR VRs. But in the regional level, we uh, typical is a CDN, AR VR, and also we do the uh, pic, uh, the not only the render uh, the rendering and also the video transcoding. So in the cloud, we assume we have unlimited computing power. So most of the training will build in the cloud. And uh, we are using the computing power from the central cloud. However, in Kube Edge, we have our Edge uh, Seek. So we have the Sedina sub-project. They are trying to do the collaborated or federated learning. So that means the training not only exist in the cloud, but also in the edge side, we are uh, going to have a look. So here is the Kube Edge architecture. So you can see uh, the main part, uh, the cloud part, is based on the pure uh, Kubernetes control plane. So you can miss, you can miss deploy cloud node and edge node. Edge node, we, I mean, expanded on the bottom. So basically our system support, you can mix, deploy both cloud node and edge nodes. And we have the special part called uh, cloud core. Is This is the, our kind of API server our, to the old the new edge node. In the edge node, we have a counterpart, the edge core. So we are using the uh, WebSocket long connections, or we also uh, support quick. So this part, we can have a 2V duplex communication between the edge and the cloud. So typically, the edge may be deployed, edge node may be deployed behind a firewall. Through these connections, we can uh, cross a, cr a firewall like the cloud directly control the edge node. So you can have a cloud controlled edge. So within the edge, we support CSI, CRI, CRI we can do, uh, uh, and also the CNI. The CRI we support not only container D, CRIO, all, all kind of uh, standard uh, container provision we support. And also we are using this uh, PubSub mod mosquito to connect all the devices. So uh, I want this one because we already talked about this before. I will spend more time on our update. So a quick update, uh, our journey. So we launched this project in 2018 and we donated to CNCF and become a sandbox project in 2019 March. And we uh, graduated to uh, incubation in 2020, uh, 2021, uh, 2020 September. And currently we have a more than uh, 5,800 stars. We have uh, more almost 2,000 folks. And uh, 
you can see the contribution contributors are really diversified. We have more than 1,000 contributors uh, from uh, eight, 80, more than 80 organizations. So currently we are doing the quarterly re uh, release. We support not only x86, but ARM32, ARM64, uh, and the, uh, the new update is uh, we set up based on, after we into the incubation, we uh, set up a, we recently created our uh, TSC, the Technical Steering Committee, and uh, based on all these six already existed, the new one will be the SIG node. Uh, here, the link will show you the proposal or the scope of the SIG. Basically, it's very similar to Kubernetes SIG node. It's mainly focused on the uh, lifecycle management for the edge node, the connections, anything related to the runtime in the node, and also cover the cloud node because we support a mixed deploy of a cloud node and the edge node. Here you can see uh, for last year, this uh, very diversified the uh, contributors. 36% are individual contributors. So uh, it's, we have the consistent code, very active project. So here is our community. Basically we have a uh, Community governments uh, follow the CNCF rules. We have the TSC, we set up the TSC. We have a different SIGs and the work groups. So talking about on the different to uh, topics. And the technical communities, we uh, hire a few ambassadors to help us to do the marketing and uh, evangelist. And we have the user group, that's the, for the industry partners, talking about the user cases and uh, user cases and all the problems they uh, have when they uh, adopt Kubernetes Edge. So another good up, uh, update, uh, important update is the training. We collaborate with the CNCF Foundation because we are a CNCF project and also the Linux Foundation training. We are going to start our training Sessions is about 23, 24 sessions. Will last uh, two or three months. And here is the, the link. We are talking about all the proposals. Uh, what's the, each topic? And thank you for CNCF supporting us. We are going to have a formal training. And uh, for the TSC, we have our charter here. That's new. Uh, the current the current members will until we are going to have a another election on September, October frame in 2024. That's a two years term of uh, TSC numbers. So the members must come from a different organization. No organization have more than two uh, TSC members. Now the important update. So basically, uh, I'm going to talking about the security update. So first is about supply chain security. Supply chain security, you can see, uh, especially for the container side, when you develop a new, and when developer develop a new features until you release the software, there's a, a few stages, the source, build, and the packaging. And also you are in, when you build a, your product, you pull in a lot of dependencies. You can see there's a lot of a red mark there. There could be potential risk and potential atta uh, attack. So we pair with uh, CNCF, we did our audit in June. So we are one of the first CNCF project uh, reach the uh, level of insurance by uh, as LSA. LSA is the open SSF project. Is measure you build the dependency source, all the dimensions. So this is a cross industry, a cross organization vendor neutral group. So uh, they do a really uh, good uh, audit. So they provide a industry standard recognized, uh, agree upon level of protection and compliance. We in the source build and the common part, we all reach 
in the level insurance, the L4, the full report, we, uh, you can uh, hear the, the QR code. You can get our full security auditor report. You can see all the dimensions. They measured all the audit detail. And also, uh, there's a one, at that time, it's not available, it's a province. So we did our improvement follow-up the security update uh, uh, after the audit. Uh, another one, we do the, we integrate the fuzzing. So uh, you can see here the news. Uh, we are one of the sincere projects are being fuzzed continuously by the OSS fuzz. Here is the news. So you can see the principle is by the fuzz, fuzzing test, you create your fuzz the input, then you enter your system, do the fuzzing test. So we are continuously tested by the fuzzing test. So we are the first of the 18, I think currently 18 since their project is being fast. So we are one of the first batch. So another one will be the threat modeling and the protection analysis. So we did our, based on our audit report, we find out uh, this potential attack will be one, two, three, four, five. That's of different attack. Uh, I, I don't want to, we don't have time to go and elaborate everything. However, you can still download the, uh, the full report and uh, you can download the, the report on, on the previous page, I posted the QR code. Here is our analysis that's posted on the GitHub. Another part will be based on the audit report. So we have this uh, full report here and we set up our uh, policy and the vulnerability management procedure. You can see uh, for the cloud part, we collaborate with our upstream Kubernetes security response team. We listen to the SRC from Kubernetes. And for the edge part, we run our uh, security SIG maintainers. We listen and watch for the old vulnerability assessment and, uh, and all the CVEs. When it's coming, we do the validation and the assessment. Then we uh, simultaneously do the solution and apply the CVE. Then we, uh, we after the embargo period, we re release the recommendation and the release the security advisory. So basically that will split into five parts, reporting, confirming, then remediation, then we do the embargo, it's the restricted disclosure, then public disclosure. So this time we allow our industry partners and user group can take the patch and do the fix. Now I'm talking about the uh, performance test. So this topic are uh, covered that in the uh, KubeCon Europe. So basically what we do is say, basically we test our SLO, service level objective test. So we test our latency, throughput, scalability, CPU usage and memory usage. And also for the usage the scenario of usage of Kubernetes, Edge, we especially cover the unstable cloud and edge networking part because uh, we are a uh, cloud native edge project. That means the from edge to cloud is different. The connection is different from uh, intro data center. That means it's not stable. It could be disconnected or long delays. And also we uh, have a restricted bandwidth. So before we go in deep into that, I will briefly cover. So here is I borrow from Kubernetes community. So the scalability doesn't only means how many nodes you're going to support, how many pod, there's a few dimensions you need to think about it. The how many secret, the secret number we have, I think currently is 3000 secret per cluster. That's if we, I mean, even in Google GKE, we may have 
increase this secret number. We not all vendors support uh, enough number of uh, secret, and also how many service do you support backend? The pod and node is only well. This is the pod per node, and also uh, uh, the ingress you support is for net, net, uh, incoming traffic is net working part. So this you can see there's multiple dimensions that you need to measure for reach the real scalability. You cannot have one. If you miss one di dimension, it will I mean block you from your scale up. Here, this is what how we did our scalability test. So we have a, a cluster loader. So it generates the load, and we have our load balance to load up. So here is our data. So we test our 10,000, sorry, 100,000 of a node and the 1 million pods. So that's we are trying to. That's our config. Here is our uh, test results. So uh, we, uh, here is the data, the visualization. Let me here. It's more readable here. So you can see the pod startup. So 50% uh, is about 80, uh, 60, uh, is 16, is 1.6. And 99% is less than five seconds. So it's reach our SLO is about 5,000 milliseconds is a five, basically five seconds. And here is the create to schedule because this, our tools doesn't allow, uh, it shows zero actually it has some number because uh, because it's the based on the standard it doesn't support it's a sub second a uh, sub millisecond it cannot display here it's only display at zero but it's a number there but 99 percent will be a one second uh schedule to run it's all uh one sec uh, one thousand millisecond run to watch is from 50 percentile is it's about one second and 99 percent is 2.2 second and schedule to watch is a uh, 1.6 uh, second and 99 percentile is 30 second. So from the test results, we have this conclusions. Kube Edge can support 100,000 edge node, and meantime we deploy a uh, one million pods on the system, on the cluster. So you can get a uh, uh, during the KubeCon Europe. I only talk about the, the test setup. Uh, at that time, we don't have the full report here. Now we have the full report released. So uh, you can download our report from here. So here is a few links. Uh, uh, our website, uh, GitHub page, Slack channel, meetings, and docs. So you can either ping us from Slack channel or uh, through our mailing list or uh, from Twitter. So we have our maintainers on the channels and also we have a weekly meetings. We have a two time setup. One is more uh, US friendly, it's in the US uh, 7 p.m. Uh, Pacific time. The other one will be uh, more European friendly. It's a European afternoon time. So, yeah, we have a uh, twenty minutes here. So, cool. Yeah. So, any? Thank you, everyone. Uh, here is the QR code. You can post the question or feedbacks, and I'm open to any questions.
Uh, you mean the uh, image hub, the harbor, right? So you, you sorry, I. Uh, that one we sh uh, we publish in the in the doc link, but feel free to let me know. We publish some uh, all the reference in this uh, document link. That includes like, like the reference yes. Okay. Uh, let me sh quickly show you. We and also it's published in our GitHub page. And uh, I didn't talk about it in the node group. We are going to support a Windows container that's planned for the next year. So we do have our uh, hardware support list. So that also posts in our user group. So our industry partners, they also have their uh, user examples published there. Uh, let me know if you cannot find it. You ping me in the uh, Slack channel or Twitter so I will find it. Thank you.